Hello dear viewers and subscribers. I have a short announcement for you. I want to do it for my friend. Her name is Rhonda. She is English speaking tarot reader. Very gifted, very kind, very generous. Uh, she has been changing her channel but now she is back to her previous channel. You can see the link below my video. So welcome to her channel. Enjoy her readings. And now we'll begin with our weekly forecast. Hello Aries, this is weekly forecast for you for the week of January 18th. Uh, this time I'm using Tarot of Stars Eternal Liberty Tarot deck. I'll show you the box. I don't know if you can see it normally. Well, four cards. First card it's work and business area. Second card it's personal life. Uh, third card, card is advice. And fourth card is non-advice, what is not recommended. In work and business you've got seven of spheres. It's seven of pentacles in traditional deck. But it's not traditional. So what uh, week it will be at work? If you're looking for the job, it will be not so easy to find uh, something that you like this week. Maybe some... Uh, there will be some opportunities, but they are not so interesting for you. Not this week, week at least. If you are working, it will be a week of uh, some, I don't know, restrictions at work. It can be restrictions uh, caused by somebody or by just something, just some events uh, makes your work uh, not so productive as you want it. I don't know, maybe you don't have some material that you need to continue your work. Maybe you don't uh, need some papers that you need um, or just some yes thing from your boss uh, to continue some project. Any kind of restriction. Or maybe there will be some situation or atmosphere this week uh, where you feel... Um, not so sure in your position at work for some reason like maybe you um, fearing something you're frightened by something some information uh, don't fear anything in just one week do what you have to do and stay calm in personal life queen of uh, <coughs> skeptics <clears throat> Sorry, I catched cold. Queen of Skeptors in uh, personal life. Um, you will be, I think it doesn't matter if you're man or whim or woman, you Aries will be very active, very charming, very sexual. Uh, you will take initiative in your own hands. Uh, and it doesn't matter uh, or in uh, family relationships uh, or between friends or in personal, uh, I mean romantic relationships, you will be quite active, charming, uh, inviting <coughs> people somewhere. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you will be brave and charismatic. Advice, Prince of Swords, it's uh, actually King of Swords, and what is not recommended, Nine of Swords. Uh, if there is some situation where you feel like um, I don't know, if you have where you have some fears, anxiety, you have to uh, try to look at this situation like from a point of view of other person. Like it's not with you. You're just looking from the side. Like you're someone else and looking at the situation without any emotions, feeling. Just a uh, cold intelligence. That's all. That's what you have to do. And <clears throat> don't fear anything. This nine of swords, when we have uh, fears, anxiety, sleepless nights, uh, we feeling guilty, we regret something and stuff like that. Don't uh, make any situation worse with your negative uh, thoughts. And also if something is happening, <clears throat> if something is happening, you have to be as diplomatic as you can. Instead of fighting with someone, 
just I don't know keep a distance or make a joke out of it like use your sense of humor don't be cruel with people don't cross that line uh, where it can be some mm, a little bit unpleasant consequences out of your words I hope you understand what I mean when we're saying too much when we're getting angry when we because of fear saying something and then it's we getting problems because of that so don't behave like this make a joke out of it or just uh, I don't know keep a distance be more wise like this Prince of Swords I'm wishing you a great week good luck and hope to see you next time